What's going on guys? Vic VB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be doing a unusual slash Y mod on my Jersey Jack pinball machines. We're going to unbox and see what I got. I can already tell. Why? Why did you do that, Vic? Why? Ugh. Let's take a look. <laughs> All right, guys, you're Joe from Alpha Man, all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything. Also, live streams, behind the scenes, almost done with the Bride of Pinbot virtual pinball machine that I'm building for somebody. There's your social media plugin. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me on all the socials. You would see everything, and you would also see the stuff that goes in my mind in the heat of the moment. So what are you doing? Go follow. And be sure to like and subscribe and do all that, especially on YouTube. YouTube, you'll have the highest resolution videos, especially also on live streams. It goes directly to YouTube and it's getting branched out to Twitch and TikTok. So what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow. Duh. <laughs> Another social media plugin. Let's talk about what is going on in this unusual situation slash like why. I could already tell, I could already see. I already envision people going, why, Vic? Why? Why did you spend money on this mod? It is a pointless mod. Why? Also, you might be going right now, Vic, what, what is going on on your pins? What, what is this? <laughs> so if you don't know what I'm basically leaning towards, we're going to be talking about pinball machine covers. Yes, this is how I cover my pins. It's a plus and a minus. But I'm kind of tired of seeing my pinball machines when they're not in use like this. Now also keep in mind when these are not in use, they're not powered on. I have it obviously powered on for video purposes, but basically what you see here is actually how I got the machines shipped to me. In transit, Jersey Jack puts these nice kind of white protective things to make sure that there's no dust on the glass and all that. Um, basically I'm looking to take this out. And there's a couple of companies out there that actually make pinball covers. Um, Stern makes them. I'm just not a fan of the way they look because it's kind of like a big black mat with Stern's logo on it. Uh, there is a guy I found on Pinside that makes them. He'll actually make a custom type of design. He either has designs or he'll, you know, you, I guess you could upload him one. Um, I sent him, I requested a design and uh, he basically said, I gotta like, you know, look into it. I gotta look up to it and all that. Basically, what am I getting at? I went, I found a different company that's not even meant to be making pinball covers. Kind of just use my chaotic mind. And uh, I think this should work. So without further ado, what am I talking about? What is in my hands? These are two custom, totally custom pinball covers, which are actually, I guess you could say they're mouse pads or game pads. Yep. Now off the bat, again, I feel like everything gaming related, arcade, pinball, virtual pinball, you get the community that will just forever make fun of you, mock you, they'll think you're stupid, they'll be like, why, why, why? The pinball community has this thing where they kind of ask why. Why are you covering your machines? Um, I have this kind of thing and I'll show you and I'll bring you back to the Godfather. Um, even on my electronics, like even my laptop computers and all that kind of have this thing where if I'm not using it, I have it covered. Uh, why? I don't know. It's kind of like this thing I have in my brain where I just want to keep it as new as possible. So I do cover it. Now when it comes to pinball though and glass, there's dust always in the air. You could have the cleanest house, whatever you will always forever have dust. Anything when it comes to glass, it will get dusty. You will get like the little fibers of dust in the air, so why not? You might as well cover your pinball machines. Me, in my situation, I can't cover my arcade cabinets because that's kind of extra, that's kind of silly. But when it comes to pinball, it's it's a different animal because you're, it, I, I guess it's because it's a piece of glass and then you also have the LEDs going up. I feel like every time I walk up to my machines and I look, even me, like sometimes when I'm streaming and I'll be talking, sometimes you'll get like some saliva and spit going onto the glass. You could see like the little circles and it kind of bugs the hell out of me. 
Every time I start to play my pinball machine, I always grab my cloth and I actually clean the glass. That's just how I am. So basically, yes, I do cover my pinball machines. These machines hit six months old and you know, going on pin side, you kind of see that people have their own different variations, different ideas. I came across some pinball, you know, play field covers slash mats. And I was like, this is kind of cool. This I could see myself enjoying because like right now, like what you see right now, you can even see in the background of my streams. If I'm not playing my pinball machines, I just kind of keep the protective cover on it. But now we're going to upgrade it a little bit. Yes, an unnecessary mod, but for me, I think it's necessary. It wasn't necessary, but um, I don't know. I'm just kind of anxious. I'm kind of excited to open this up because I took a way different approach to a pinball mat slash playfield cover than what you've normally seen in the wild. Enough yapping. Let's get to unwrapping these very custom, very unusual pinball playfield mat covers. Now, somebody on pin side makes covers um and i inquired to him it's really i mostly started with the godfather i did the godfather first there's actually a banner for the godfather that it it's, it looks amazing it looks awesome i'll post it right here i'll put it next to me it is a banner unfortunately nobody has a high resolution image of this banner this is perfect this is actually the godfather when i can see it here so I, I took like a, like you could find like a, a Google image. No, I'm sorry. There was a, there's a pinball site that, uh, a shop that had this banner. Uh, and unfortunately they didn't have a high resolution image. I, I inquired to the shop and they said, no, we cannot give you this image. You could only buy the banner. The banner was like 150 bucks and it was a banner. So it's got like the vinyl print to it. I wanted to take that image and put it on the play field. It, it, again, you'll see it here. Uh, I sent it to this guy that supposedly makes custom play field mats for 50 bucks. But uh, unfortunately he said like, oh, I need time to like send it to the artist and all that to make sure it's all good. I basically asked him, I said, how long does it take for this, for your mats to kind of, you know, how long does it take? What's the process and how long it takes? He goes, once you pay me, it takes about two to three weeks to send out, to make your mat, and then send it out. So I'm like, all right, two weeks, not too bad, especially with it being 50 bucks. I was like, all right, let me come back to you. Because the biggest thing is that I sent them the image and he couldn't tell me if it was a high resolution image or not. Um, obviously then I'm like, all right, you know, I'm waiting for him to reply. Let me go look at some other options. The one thing I didn't like about this guy's um, product was that it was, I assume it was a beach towel. So on his videos, when he's like laying it, it's like you have to kind of pull it taut. I wasn't really a fan of that. Basically, long story short, I did some research and I found a company that makes custom game pads slash, I guess, mouse pads. And yes, this is what it is. It is a mouse pad. Let me move you over. I'm gonna do a full body. We'll unwrap this real quick. It's gonna suck because it's gonna be unwrapped upside down. But yeah, you know what? I'm gonna unwrap. Oh. It looks good. It looks cool. It looks very unique. Basically, like I said Stern has like their black. I didn't like that. Luckily, Jersey Jack has an image available of the actual play field. <laughs> it's actually not that bad looking. It looks awesome. It's the actual play field. Of course, I got a phone call during it. Look at that. It is the actual play field that right there my friends is awesome this is perfect because at least with the game covered you kind of get an idea of what the actual game looks like i'm happy i unrolled the godfather first because i'm more excited for this one without further ado let's get rid of this and let's put it on so no joke every time i play my pin i have to come here like put this aside <laughs> So no joke, every time I come to play my pin, I have to do this. I actually have a little uh, sponge. This came with the game. This kind of just shows me that this was for the Godfather. This was holding the, the gangster in place. And no joke, this is exactly my process. I basically take this and I kind of wrap like that. And then I put this to the side. Boom. Honestly, I will still keep those there because I rest my glass whenever I'm cleaning them. But now, let's take a look at the new mat that we got. Oh, <laughs> that is, 
That is awesome. That is fairly awesome right there. Wow, I'm actually happy with that. That is so great. The biggest kind of selling point to this is that it is a mouse pad. So again, the guy that makes his own, I think it's like a beach towel. So he kind of like had to keep pulling it taut and it basically kept like going in. I am, this is awesome. Let me show you. <laughs> So now take a look at it on the actual play field. Again though, the, the kind of cool thing is that the machine is on. So my old way you could see LEDs coming out, but this way it does block the LEDs. But in all honesty, if I'm not playing it, I wouldn't have the machine on. I just have the machine on to show you guys in the video and have it on, but this is great. And again, look, it is pretty much edge to edge. Keep in mind it is rounded corner there. And it is like a mouse pad. It's a mouse pad. Now, the only thing I will definitely have to monitor and be careful with, which I will probably still modify that just to be safe. I doubt this is going to scratch, but just to be safe, I'm going to definitely maybe put the white underneath this. But this is awesome. Look at as it like, boom, see? The other guy does like a, a beach towel. And I didn't like that because basically then it would kind of show like the ripples and you have to pull it. This was a great selling point. And it looks awesome. Look, it is my play field. So while the machine is off, I could still see what the play field looks like. So if anybody wants to see like, oh, what is this? That's what it is. Awesome. It's, I'm, I'm actually very happy with this. This is, this is so cool. Now again, you could find this actual image on Jersey Jack's website. It's a full high res image. I'll be honest though, like, you know, it's not totally high res, but it is like a mouse pad and it is great. It's definitely better than a straight black mat with you know, I was gonna do that. I could put Jersey Jack's logo right here with a black map, but I think it's just, this is cool. This is awesome, right? <laughs> now, real quick, if I unroll this, like I said, you basically see, it's like that. It's an overhead view. And this kind of, like I said, it's, it's a map. It is a mouse pad. It is, it's, it's not, I don't wanna say it's heavy, but it's a mouse pad. And they give you the option to make custom sizes. And this was perfect. I'm, I'm digging it. I am enjoying it to the max right now. Again, I can unroll this. And again, like I said, no, no disrespect to the guy that makes it. You know, and again, he does only charge 50 bucks. But the biggest thing is that like, see, like I don't have to like pull taut. And it's not something where if I pull, I have to worry about this like sliding that down. A term that was used by his friends, one of affection, one of respect. Yes, respect. It's, it's all, I like this. This is great. Let's do Toy Story. <laughs> now, same thing. I come here and this is, this is it. This is how Jersey Jack sent it to me. This is the white. I put this on the side. You can also now see like the actual side rail. So my white is being covered, it's covering these blues. Let's take a look at this real quick. Now, the one thing I didn't know, and I'll post the links to the actual website. I did ask them for like a, a, a coupon code or whatever, kind of like a, a promo code. Um, I didn't know that the, the, the actual company is based in China. I did not know that. The website doesn't show that. It shows California. And they do state that it takes about 10 days to finalize a product. So I'm like, okay, that dude needs two weeks. This company needs 10 days. Let's see, this is upside down, but without further ado, there is your Toy Story. <laughs> That's awesome. Toy Story, in all honesty, Toy Story's image online is a little bit more high res. Or like just a little bit more clearer. Look at that. That is done. One, two, three, and we are done. Done. Awesome. I, I love it. I think it's great. Amazing. <laughs> so now, look at this. So Toy Story, again, Jersey Jack has the image and it is my blue. So Toy Story, the collector's edition is red. This one is the LE, so it is blue. Look at it. It's great. Look, the detail on it is honestly amazing. Look, extra ball. This is perfect. And again, it is a mouse pad. Keep that in mind, it is a pad, it is a mouse pad. Now somebody's gonna be like, oh, you could scratch the glass. I'm gonna most likely then just to be safe, I'll, I'll cut out the white and just put it underneath, cause that's like light. But look, this is the best part. You just kind of flip, boom, that's it. It's not like a beach towel, 
Look at that. That is awesome. Now, this one, in all honesty, eh. No, it's fine. Even on Godfather, I think I see a little bit. Yeah, I could see a little bit of an edge. So I could have probably added like an extra, I don't know, eighth of an inch. But I'm not going to be anal about that. Look at that. That is... I, I'm so shocked. It's amazing. Now, without further ado, I'm going to turn off my machines. Boom. If you don't know my Toy Story mod, I do have the LED addressables that I added. Very low cost mod. That's it. That's what it looks like. And it looks beautiful. It looks, it looks great. <laughs> Definitely looks better than as you can see in the beginning of the video. It looks great. And again, the biggest thing, if I wanted to play right now, I could be the type where I could either roll this up. Look, I could just simply roll this up and play. And then if I wanted to bring it on, let it roll down. Look at that. Give it a nice little top. Boom. Done. Like I said, the only downside to the other pin side, dude, is that number one, he needed two weeks. So in my eyes, I'm not going to lose anything. He was 50 bucks. He does use a beach towel, which maybe some people are like, oh, you know what, Vic? That's actually better because this, you might maybe run the risk of scratching glass. I don't know. It's, it's a mat. It's, it's literally a mouse pad. If you know what a mouse pad is, like the bottom of it, it's like a non-slip type of mat. Now, the only other thing to keep in mind with this setup here, it does cost a little bit more. Not a lot. It is a little bit more. So without further ado, let's talk about where this came from, what's the company's name, and a little bit of a hint if you do plan to order. Now, also in the beginning of this video, I was talking about like how I'm kind of nitpicky with my electronics. My godfather is six months old. It still has the protective film on the side rails and the whole side art here still has the plastic film on it. I just, that's how I am. I'm kind of picky about that. But without further ado, let's talk about the actual company that made these. The website is called yourplaymat.com. So it is a play mat. They have quite a variety of stuff. I, again, like I said, I originally was just looking up like play field covers and then Etsy came up and the guy on Etsy is the same guy on Pinside. If you die, if you order from Pinside, he's like cheaper than Etsy, like 10 bucks, whatever. Basically, I, I stumbled across this and I was like, you know what, what else could it be instead of like a towel? Then I looked into like mouse pads and sure enough, I found this yourplaymat.com. They make play mats and apparently play mats are a big deal when it comes to like trading card games. I guess like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. And they have actually options where like, you could put like plastic inserts and you could put square, they have a bunch of layouts. But the biggest thing is that they do have an option to make a custom play mat. Everything from like custom size to custom artwork. And that's what I had to do. I did custom size, I measured it up, and boom. If you navigate to their site, you're gonna see the option for a custom play mat. It starts at $18, uh, but in all honesty, again, a size of, like a mat of this size, it's not going to be $18. Um, what that's kind of difficult to tell you the price that I paid because they do offer, you're going to find If you look up on Google, yourplaymat.com, you're going to find discount codes. Um, the first code I found was 10% off. Now at the time of ordering, I ordered two at the same moment. I ordered two of them at the same time. So I got 10% on the total, right? Once I press submit, all of a sudden, a pop-up pops up and they said, hey, order another one and get 25% off, but you only have like 30 minutes to claim this code. And I was like, oh crap, you know, I ordered two. I kind of felt, I was like, I, I got cheaped out. I'm like, damn, that, that sucks. I ordered two. If I would have known that, I would have ordered one and then I would have ordered another one. Not to worry. I literally sent an email to the customer support there. I said, hey, I ordered two, and then I saw like the 25% off coupon. Is there a way that I could apply that to at least one of like the, the mats? Because I ordered two at one time. The lady's like, sure. And then sure enough, she did 25% off like everything. So in my eyes right here, figure I paid about 70 bucks to about 60 bucks, 60 to 70. Because again, she also did the error of taking 25% off on something that I already got 10% on. So I don't want to say a price. You're like, Vic, you're lying. Oh. 70 bucks per 
unit. Compared to the guy that wanted 50 bucks, $20 for honestly the mouse pad kind of texture and the mouse pad like thickness where I don't have to like come here and like, oh, I gotta make sure this is like pulled tight. It's a no brainer. My phone's going off all day. But yes, in all honesty, you pay a little bit extra. I'm, I'm happy I did. I am just happy that it, it looks great. I'll be honest, Toy Story is a little bit brighter, but all in all, I think it's awesome. Look at that. There you go. Now, again, some people, oh, you spent that much money on a cover. People get like yoga mats. That's also like another thing I was thinking about. I was like, all right, people get yoga mats and then cut it. Like the mouse pad, I don't, it's, it shouldn't be that different of a yoga mat. Yoga mats are also thick though. This is pretty thin. This is like comfortable thin. I'm, I'm pleased with it. This is, this is great. An unnecessary mod, but for me, it was necessary. I could have, I could have lived with, you know, the white. It wasn't that awful, but this looks 10 times better. <laughs> well, there you guys have it. An unnecessary mod. That's pretty necessary to me. The custom Playfield covers with actual Playfield artwork on it. Look, look, what, what, what you see here, it's here. It's, it's, it's there. <laughs> Be sure to post down in the comments what you think. What do you think about this? Let me know what you think. I'm taking a page out of BCOM. Let me know what you think. I love it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Cause I have another unnecessary mod for the Godfather that I could already feel the, I could feel the hate. <laughs> Stay tuned. Love it. Beautiful.